assume that you don't mind me interrupting you. I, that's a false statement, so I assume <laughs> you love me. I do love you. Okay, good. That's a lot of what people said. They're like, I assume you're a mama's girl. I'm like, yep. <laughs> True. <laughs> And today I'm here with a super popular video that's been going around YouTube lately. It's the video where I asked you guys to give me assumptions that you have about me and then I'm going to react to them. I asked on my Twitter and Instagram for your assumptions about me and got quite a few responses so figured we gonna do this video. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first assumption was that you're very tall, like 5'8 or above. I'm exactly 183 centimeters, which is six feet tall. So yes, I am quite tall. The next assumption was that you're very sarcastic. I would say yes. I am way too sarcastic for my own good, probably. And then the last one that that person said was you enjoy memes and 100% I love me some quality memes. The next assumption somebody said was you're a fan of dragons. 100% yes, I really like dragons. I just recently discovered that when I read The Last Namsara. That was like the first dragon book that I discovered and now I just like need all of the dragons in my life. The next assumption someone said was you will always expect your mom to bake you things like no matter how old you are or where you are. Yes, my mom's baked goods are like so good. She's such a little baker. This is gonna sound really bad but whenever she's like in a bad mood or like bored or depressed she bakes. So I'm kind of like sitting here being like ooh Hope she's in a bad mood so I get cookies but also like no because we don't want our moms to be in bad moods but like cookies you know the next person said I assume it you'd be fun to bake cookies with I mean like I would like to say yes I would be but maybe I'm biased to myself but I'm gonna say yes the next assumption someone made was you want to get married yes eventually down the line <laughs> I would like to be married going back to school next year so we still got two years before we're like ready for that commitment but you know one day hopefully it'll happen <laughs> the next assumption is you will never move out that's what I tell my parents so I mean like I would rather not move out because I want to be with my mom 24 7 but probably will because I doubt my boyfriend wants to live here with me, so. If it was up to me, no, I'd live here forever. And then the next one was, you want two to three children. I want two. My boyfriend wants five. So I mean, three is a happy medium. I personally just want one girl, one boy. But, you know, we'll see where the light takes us. The next assumption was that you're really close with your family. Yes. Well, no. Yes, kind of. I'm close with my mom, not close with my brother at all. Like, we go days and days and days without talking or even seeing each other. My dad is, like, iffy because he wakes up really early to go to work. And then when he comes home, I'm usually at work. So we don't really cross paths that much. But when we do cross paths, we're close, if that makes sense. So yes and no. The next assumption is that you want everyone to like you. Yes. I get really anxious when I think somebody doesn't like me. I get like really paranoid and act really weird around them because I just want everyone to be a big happy family so if they don't like me I'm like <gasps> you know. Um, the next assumption is you were voted nicest in class in high school. <laughs> oh no. People were afraid of me in high school. People were really intimidated of me in high school apparently from what people tell me whenever I would like talk to somebody they'd be like oh I totally thought you were gonna be a bitch but like you're really nice like you're super scary but like super sweet and honestly I think it's because like I didn't really talk to anybody and apparently I have like a strut when I walk down the hallways and I'd always like have my headphones in and be like I don't want to talk to anybody so like I guess I came off as intimidating but people thought I was nice once they actually talk to me, so I mean, yes, maybe half and half, I don't know. Somebody said, I assume Fetus J is your younger sister. No, if you guys are new to this channel, um, I do a thing called Fetus J Friday, which is basically videos that I filmed like two to three years ago, my laptop broke and then I couldn't get those videos, but then I got onto my hard drive and got all the videos. So I have all these videos I never posted. So every Friday I post Fetus J from 
two to three years ago and the videos are so bad it's so funny but like I can't stop posting them because I think it's hilarious everybody hates those videos but I think they're a grand old time. The next person said, your mom is your best friend and you have unlimited inside jokes with her. Yes, my mother is 100% my best friend. I love her to death. And I pretty much just spend a lot of time making fun of her. So if those count as inside jokes, then yes. The next person said, I assume you are a mommy's girl and not a daddy's girl. Yes, I'm 100% a mommy's girl. I would die for that bitch. You love being around other people and hate being alone. Yes. I don't like being alone, but I also don't like being around people. So it's like a catch-22 because I can't be around people for a long time because I get really annoyed really easily, but I hate being alone. So I just hang out with my mom. I assume you're more fun with children than you do with most adults. Like you have a niece or nephew, you make a priority. I do like children more than I like adults, but no, I don't have a niece or nephew. Um, sadly, my brother refuses to have children, so I'll never be the cool aunt, and I'm really bitter about it. I assume you're really social and like being with friends often. I don't have friends, so no. Yes, I would say I'm social when I get to go out with people, but yeah, no, that doesn't happen often, so... <laughs> the next assumption is that you don't like horror movies. That's very false. I love horror movies. I would probably watch a horror movie rather than like a rom-com. I just really like to be scared because I know it's not real and I think it's funny getting like worked up so no I really like horror movies. The next assumption is that you're the kind of person who isn't afraid to call people out on their shit. See this is like half and half. Yes I will call you out on your shit but I'm also don't really like confrontation so I'll call you out and then I'll be like please don't be mad at me though or I'll be like I'll call you out and then I'll be like but that's just my opinion so like yes and no the next person said you are a chaotic messy person neat freaks annoy you if you could see my room right now yes I'm very very messy it's a disaster in here but neat freaks don't really annoy me I just can't relate. The next assumption is you want to own all the dogs. 100% yes. I am one of those people that when I see a dog, I like squeal and freak out. Like I need all of the dogs so badly. And then they also said you wish you had a corgi. 100% yes. I'm obsessed with corgis. They are my favorite dog breed ever. Like I have a corgi butt phone case. Like <laughs> I need a corgi in my life. You use cuss words frequently in your everyday speech. Yes, it's a problem, but here we are. Um, somebody else says you don't refilm or redo videos. No, unless it's like ridiculously blurry, then maybe I'll refilm a clip, but no, I'm too lazy for that, so. <laughs> the next person says you work really hard on your videos. Um, honestly, I wouldn't say that I do a lot of effort on my videos. Like, I would like to say I try, but I don't script them, I just like ramble. I don't do fancy editing because your girl doesn't know how to do that. And like I just don't really plan. I just sit down and start talking, so I don't know. Not probably not. You hate being the center of attention. Are you new here? Because I'm like obsessed with being the center of attention. I need constant attention. You love books. You new here? Yeah. Yeah, I love me some books. The next person said you like murder, murder, stabby, stabby books. 100% my favorite genre ever. The next assumption is you read insane amounts of books each month. Um, I usually read like 15 to 20 books, so if that's insane, yes. The next person said I assume you're from a different planet because you read so many books. <laughs> um, nope, from planet Earth. The next person said I assume you are a bot account and that's how you are able to leave so many comments. No, I just don't have a social life, so I spend most of my time on booktube, so... <laughs> You follow a hundred booktubers and that's why you make so many comments. Um, yes, I do follow a lot of booktubers and again, I have no social life, so, you know, they go hand in hand. The next person said you read whatever books you want to and don't listen to booktube hype. Um, yes, probably. I would say that's true. I don't really read a lot of popular books when they first come out because I get all of my books from like thrift stores because your girl broke, so she can't spend 
30 to 40 dollars on a book when it's released so I usually read the popular books like two to three years later so I read a lot of not popular books. The next one is you will always own hundreds of books. Yes, I already convinced my boyfriend that I was going to have a library in our house once we eventually, maybe, buy one, even though I'm never moving out. But I told him we're having a library, so all my books are coming with me. You want to buy a house over renting. Yes, I don't want to rent a house. I want my own house. I don't want to deal with all that renting bullshit. Been there, done that. No. You only read books you found out about because of booktube. No. I will randomly pick up random books from the thrift store because they don't have popular books that people talk about on booktube, so inaccurate statement. I assume you read a ton, especially fantasy. No, actually. Um, yes, I do read a lot, but the fantasy part, not true. I only recently started reading fantasy. I was always really hesitant to read fantasy because I get really pissed off when I can't pronounce characters' names, and fantasy books I always find have the weirdest character names that I'm sitting there like trying to pronounce and I just get annoyed, so. But recently have started reading fantasy and really enjoying it, so 50-50. You didn't like reading as a kid. Um, I think I got into reading when I was like 12-ish. I always liked reading books with my mom when I was younger, but she would read to me. I would never like sit down by myself and read a book, so I guess that's accurate. The next assumption is you will never dye your hair a color besides purple. Yes, now, but I did used to have pink hair and I used to have teal hair, but purple is my go-to because I love me some purple. The next person said you want to color your hair blue. I've had blue hair, well teal hair, and no, I look really dumb with it. I like the purple person. One of your favorite Christmas songs as a kid was Hula Hoop by the Chipmunks. No, I don't know if I've heard that song. Maybe I have, but not enough to actually know the lyrics. The next person said your favorite music is either heavy metal or classical. Hard no. Uh, my boyfriend's favorite music is heavy metal or screamo, and anytime he puts it on in the car, I hate it so much. Classical, I don't really have any love for. I like pop. Like, whatever's on the radio, I'll listen to, you know? You don't really like television shows. This is true, unless I find something that, like, I binge watch, but I don't really watch a lot of TV, so... Somebody said, attractive and chill. I mean, I would like to say yes, but, again, might be biased. Somebody said, that you're really cool if I went to Canada and met you. Again, I would like to say yes, but again, might be biased. So this is um, from my friend from high school and he thinks he's being funny, but he says less of an assumption and more of an observation, you're bad at basketball. Yes, you know, I played in university, but I was a bench player, so <laughs> baller. The next assumption is that you like chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. Yes, I do, but it's not my favorite. My favorite is chocolate peanut butter but the peanut butter has to be like huge chunks of peanut butter. Like if you're gonna like be skimpy on my peanut butter and my ice cream, I'm not gonna be happy, but chocolate peanut butter is my favorite. The next one is you really like ice cream and used to have a ice cream truck visit your neighborhood frequently. I do really like ice cream, but we never really had the ice cream truck visit us frequently and I don't think I've ever actually gotten ice cream from an ice cream truck, so assumption wrong. The next person said, if you could have candy for every meal, you would. Yes, but also like that's super unhealthy, so no. But like I have a huge sweet tooth, so yes. The next person said, I assume you love freezies. Um, no. I get really excited when I have freezies and my teeth are super sensitive, so I'll eat it really fast and then my teeth will hurt and then I'm cranky because my teeth hurt and also I get really excited, so I'll like stick the whole thing in my mouth, but then I'll get those like little cuts on the side of your lips because like you pull it out. You know what I'm talking about? The worst. It's like paper cuts for your mouth. Ooh, the next person said, you believe pineapple does not belong on pizza. That's a hard no. Um, Hawaiian pizza is my favorite kind of pizza, so pineapple 100% does belong on pizza, so <laughs> unpopular opinion. The next person said, you're not a coffee drinker. Um, that's coffee. I'm not a hot coffee drinker, so I mean, I guess you're kind of right. Like, I'll only drink iced coffee. I won't drink hot coffee to save my life, but 
50-50, I guess. Somebody said you don't like chocolates. Um, I have the biggest sweet tooth in the entire world, so yes, I do really like chocolate. You like all things maple. Yes, I'm Canadian, so stereotype to the max. And then the last two are from my best friend, and she thinks she's also being funny. She says, you're a model, which I hate when people say that to me because whenever I was younger, I would be on the street and people would ask me if I was a model because I'm six feet tall. And you know what? It gets old after a while. I mean, thank you, but stop it. And then she also said, you get a lot of dick, so. Alright guys, so those were the assumptions that y'all had about me. Thank you to everyone who actually commented and left your assumptions. Appreciate you. Let me know down below what people assume about you sometimes, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!